I wanna talk about three tips, tricks, hacks, whatever you wanna call them, that can really up your Cargo Connect game this year. Let's, let's get started. <laughs> Number one. Number one is before you leave the launch area, back up against the wall. Now, we're doing all types of really crazy things. We're changing attachments really, really quickly. You're taking things off, putting things on, pressing buttons, and it's easy for the robot to get crooked in the base area, in the launch area before you leave. And if the robot backs up against the wall before it leaves, then it will line itself up, kind of, uh, as long as it's in the, the right area. And uh, here's some code that kind of looks like that. So the first thing that I uh, recommend that you do in, in any program before you leave the launch area is back up against the wall. So if I so if I, if I run this code, uh, the robot will back up against the wall before it does anything else, kind of line itself up. Now, if it's a little bit crooked, maybe I felt like that was too much, the wheels spun a little bit, maybe I'll do 10 second, or 10, 10 power, just kind of lines itself up before it goes out of the base, the launch area. And that brings me to hack or tip or trick number two. Now, when we leave the launch area, sometimes we wanna go really, really quickly. And I would say that you don't want to do that. You see, these robots are notorious. They are famous for not going straight. I mean, they're made for Lego and they're really precise, but they're also not really precise. So we have to tell the robot to just kind of go at a speed that it can manage. And a lot of times that's slower than you think. So when you leave and you want to be precise, when you leave the launch area, go slower than what you think you need to go. Because this could happen. Because this could happen. Maybe I want to come out of here and I want to go forward set my movements, I'll just even leave it at 50, and I wanna go forward out of the launch area for three rotations. Now, if I click play, it'll back up against the wall, and then it'll leave. Now, that's not that fast, but if you noticed, it kind of did a little jig before it left, and it didn't leave at a perfect angle. I'll run it again. There's something to help us with that. And I could even, if it, it helps you go really fast and then you can speed up and slow down uh, really, really easily and accurately and leave home at an even straighter angle uh, every single time. And I'm gonna come down here to this plus sign. And I wanna make sure that more movement is checked. Now, uh, mine's already checked, but you just wanna click the little empty circle. If it's not checked, check it. And then you can X out and if you scroll all the way down, you'll find more movement blocks. And this block right here is a lifesaver. It's super cool and not too many people know about it, but let's make it a famous block. Before I go fast in any program, I'm actually gonna put it at the very, very top, I can set the acceleration of my motors to fast, balanced, smooth, slow, or very slow. Now, I could go smooth, and let's watch what happens when I do this. It goes a little bit straighter. Or I could even go very slow, and it'll speed up very slowly. 
and leave the launch area uh, a lot straighter. Now, I can even up that to 100 and it'll still leave the launch area straight. And it gets there plenty fast. So if you want to go fast, this is how to do it. Set your acceleration to slow or very slow or smooth, something that works for you and your robot, because not everybody's robot is the same, and use that block to its full potential because it's awesome. The last tip, trick, hack that I'm gonna share with you has to do with the penalty tokens or the, I think they're called precision tokens. Really, if you touch the robot out of the base area, it's a penalty, ex except, Except if you've read the rule book, you might have figured this out already. If not, I'm about to tell you. In the precision token mission, where it says the scoring, if at the end of two and a half minutes there's six tokens left, then you get 50 points. If there's five tokens left, you get 50 points. That means you get a free touch out there. You get to pick your robot up and bring it back. That's one free touch out of the launch and home area. So you can literally touch your robot as pick it up and bring it back to the launch area to work on it to get ready for the next outing. As long as you're not holding something like the judges will take if you're holding cargo or uh, equipment or something, they'll take that. But you, you know, as long as your robot and attachments aren't holding anything, you can bring it back and save valuable time from a far corner of the, the mission mat and come all the way back to the launch area like that. That means you can literally do this. Catch. Okay, maybe you're not, maybe you're not that brave, but you can pick up the robot and bring it back and set it here and get ready to go to the next mission that saves valuable five, 10, sometimes 20 seconds coming all the way back to here. I hope that was helpful. I hope those three hacks helped you out. Go backwards before you leave home. Go slower than you think is that's one and a half. Two, uh, use that acceleration block to get your robot up to speed. It helps the robot go straighter and be more accurate. And then uh, three, use that free touch. It's huge, it's a game changer. Hope this is helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video.